Hey guys, so in this video we'll be talking about the gyroscope and hopefully um, it doesn't take too long. We're actually going to try something a little bit different when we're uh, using the gyroscope. Gyroscope, sorry, I was watching a video and uh, this guy kept saying gyro, so now I want to say gyro. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to record from a phone and we'll be able to see what it looks like on the phone as well as um, on the computer. So I'm going to start up a program called Samsung Flow. And Samsung Flow will allow me to connect my phone to my device. I believe I need to turn it on on my phone though. Oh, okay, so verify identity. Um, <laughs> Let me make sure I'm on the right network. That could be an issue. Connections. Oh, I think I'm on the wrong network. That's a problem. Let me connect to the right network real fast. Okay, now it should work. All right, I believe we're good. Okay, so we're connected now. And we're going to open up um, this app. So just to show you kind of what's going on, I can rotate my phone in the real world. And by rotating my phone, I'm, I'm literally just moving it around. Uh, it seems like I have my screen rotation orientation thing turned on. Um, just by rotating my phone in the real world, I'm getting that capsule to rotate with it. I'm using the gyroscope's values. So um, that's pretty cool. And let me show you how you can do that in Unity. So I'm going to pull this away now, now that we're done with that. Let's go back into Unity. So it's actually really, really simple. I've just added in a capsule. I go to Game Object, 3D Object, and Capsule. Not too difficult. And on that capsule, I've attached a simple script, which I call Gyroscope. So all I needed to do is go right-click, create C-sharp script, named it Gyroscope. And I attached that to my capsule, just like that. So the actual Gyroscope script, here's what it says. You'll notice it doesn't have too many lines. It's really simple, and that's all there is to it. According to Unity's documentation, to access a Gyroscope, what you should do is you should use um, this check right over here. You always want to check if they actually have a gyroscope. There is an off chance that they don't have one. Um, but you want to check if they have a gyroscope, and if that's the case, then set input.gyro.enabled to true. And when you do this, you've now turned on their gyroscope, and you're using it for its values. Um, if you don't include this line, then basically... Uh, the phone will try and conserve some battery by not trying to read the gyroscope values when Unity is running. So the next thing you want to do is do something with the values. And we can do that in update. So what I've chosen to do is, again, I'm going to check if the gyroscope is enabled, if, it, if it's available. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate my object using the input gyro attitude. Now you'll notice I did a small change. This gyro to Unity function is actually right over here. So gyro to unity is just taking the quaternion, gyro.attitude is a quaternion, and it's modifying it ever so slightly. So um, unity has suggested to take that input quaternion and turn it into a negative in the z direction and a negative in the w direction, and that will fix it um, according to unity's documentation. So I implemented that method here as well. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, it's just like a few lines of code. It's really not that much. Um, if you want, you can actually access a uh, gyroscope variable kind of like this. You can name it whatever you want. And then um, if you wanted to set that to be your like your input gyro, then all you have to do is gyro equals input dot gyro. I believe that's it. And then, um, oh, I need to change something. Uh, this would have to be a unity engine dot gyroscope. There we go. And then you can just set it like that. And now you have access with um, without having to write input dot gyro. So that's an, an option if you really wanted to. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys this. Play around with it. 
um, come up with some cool ideas. Gyroscopes are widely used in augmented reality. It's great for visualizing and looking around a scene. And yeah, that's it for this video. Check out the next one where we talk about GPS.